Hello and welcome back to the channel. This past weekend, my wife and I uh, went to support our local library book sale, and I wasn't really expecting to find that much, but I did quite—I did—I did find quite a lot of physical media, and so I thought I would share that with you today. Uh, my wife and I always go to our library when we can to support these uh, book sales. We love the library. I've always loved the library since I was a kid, and so. Uh, it's nice to go support uh, the local sales and you know people bring in books and DVDs and Blu-rays and things like that. Uh, I think this was the first year that we heard that they will not be accepting VHS tapes, which we had seen in the past, so which is kind of interesting. Um, but I did pick up a few things and I wanted to share those with you today. Um, everything I'm going to show you today, the total for everything I'm going to show you today was $14, which I couldn't believe. It was a dollar for each of the DVDs that I picked up. And, well, they're not all DVDs, but uh, um, so anyway, uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is um, if you watch the weekly vlog, too, you maybe got a little bit of a preview to this too. But I really like these uh, Saturday Night Live collections, and I I had them a, a few years ago, and I gave a few of them away. So. I thought I would pick these up. This is the Adam Sandler one. Um, and uh, I also got the Jimmy Fallon one. There's the Jimmy Fallon one. There's the back of that one. Um, I, I thought these might be hard to find, but I was looking on Amazon and they are still available, but it's nice to pick them up for a dollar. Uh, and hopefully I can collect a few more of those. Um, the next thing I picked up too, which I was really surprised to see, a lot of BBC editions of um, Doctor Who. So these are all DVDs. I know there's other releases of these they are out on blu-ray things like that but i don't really have any doctor who in my collection so i thought this would be a good time to pick these up again these are all a dollar lots of extra features i think for me i haven't watched a lot of doctor who but i did start with the tom baker years uh, and i remember seeing these on uh, television when i was a kid and so uh, it was nice to be able to pick these up and maybe re revisit them and see if i like the series again uh, but certainly let me know in the comments if you're a doctor who fan and what i should be watching um I guess this is an earlier one too. There's a Doctor Who from, and it says the years down here also. I love the extra features on these. Again, fine to pick these up on DVD because if I like it, I'll upgrade to Blu-ray. Um, here's also one with the five doctors, the Pete, the Peter Davison years, um, 1982 to 1984. Again, these are all a dollar. Look at all those extra features too. And I love the extra features on these too. It'll you know, give me some insight into the, into the series. Hopefully there's some outtakes on here also. So there's two discs in each of these. That's a uh, flip case on the inside. One of the things I do when I go to the book sale too, and, and I would highly recommend this, if you go to a book sale, obviously there's people that are donating books and movies. I always check the backside of these DVDs and Blu-rays. I also look to make sure that the right DVD is on the inside of the case here too because sometimes you'll find an empty case or You might find something else in there that you don't expect and so it's always good to just check to make sure what you're picking up um, This is the 50th anniversary special on DVD There's the back of that one. I guess this one has a few bonus features doctor who explained um, The William Hartnell years and I love how they list the years down here too. These are BBC DVDs. There's the back of that with some extra features on it. So I'm really looking forward to getting into these. And uh, one of the ones I found that I was really excited about is this one. This is the um, a six disc set on DVD for a dollar. So if you're looking to start a physical media collection at this point, uh, again, I know a lot of the a lot of the series is on a streaming service, but it's nice not to have to rely on a streaming service for these things. This is the complete fifth series. It has special features on it. It's got a nice little slip case here, which is which is very cool. So again, happy I picked this up for a dollar. I can give it a, I can give it a try. I can see what some of my favorites might be or um, just get into the series. Uh, next up, I also picked up some movies. If you've been watching the channel a lot, you'll know what a fan I am of these films. Um, and some of them I have in digital, and some of them I already have as a Warner Archive Blu-ray. But this is Gold Diggers of 1935. I just love these movies. I think the dance numbers are great in them. Uh, this is, again, a Busby Berkeley musical. Uh, numbers created and staged by Busby Berkeley. So I love these. I really love these, and I'm glad I picked these up. And, and I, I thought I had a few more of these, but I, guess I, but I guess I didn't. One of them I have a digital copy for, and I'm not sure if it's 1935 or 1937. Next up, I have Gold Diggers of 1937, which I didn't have. Again, some of these are on Warner Archive as a Blu-ray. I think 42nd Street and Gold Diggers of 1935, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this is Gold Diggers in Paris. 
which I did not have. And um, those are all the all all of those films. A few a few other films too. Uh, I didn't have this one on, and uh, this is a Blu-ray. This is uh, Sherlock Holmes with uh, Robert Downey Jr. and uh, Jude Law, Rachel McAdams, Mark Strong. So this was cool to pick up for a dollar. Looks like it's in good shape. It's got a few extra features on it as well. Um, it looks like, or maybe there aren't any extra features on this one, but um, that's very cool. I also had this movie, but I didn't have the two disc special edition. I know there's a Blu-ray out on this probably, but nice to have the DVD. This is the Day the Earth Stood Still. And there's the back of that one too, with which you, with, you can see lots of extra features on there. Sometimes you'll find an extra feature on this. This one happens to have a commentary by director Robert Wise and Nicholas Meyer, director of Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. I'm watching a lot of Star Trek uh, you know, these days. And so uh, so that's interesting interesting to see, the day the Earth stood still. And finally, a movie that I haven't seen in a long time, and I was really kind of surprised they had a copy of it, and that is Diner. And there's the back of that one. This was an old flip case too. Sometimes I like to get these old flip cases. I mean, they're very nostalgic. Um, and uh, so, and those are the movies and uh, um, TV series that I picked up. I did also pick up a book, speaking of Star Trek, which looks really great. Uh, this was also a dollar. I couldn't believe it was a dollar because this is, looks like it retails for $24.99 in the US. Um, and that is the Star Trek classics, The Mirror Saga. Look at the artwork on that too. This is in really good shape. Um, and there's the back of that uh, also. And I thought this is really, this is really, I'll show a little bit of the inside of this too. Look at the inside. I mean, it's in really good shape, especially for a book sale. You really have to look with the books too to, to uh, you know, make sure that things are in good shape. There's not a lot of writing in them uh, as an example, but lots of, uh, uh, I mean, this is, in, this is in really good shape and I'm looking forward to reading this. I, this is the first time I've seen this one. Um, so there it is, Star Trek, the Mirror Universe Saga. And that's what I picked up at the local library book sale. Again, I love supporting the book sale, love supporting the local library, since I love the library so much, my wife and I both do. Um, so that's what I picked up, and I, I, again, really wasn't expecting to find as many things. Everything I showed today, again, the total was $14. So that's another way that you can start your physical media collection, whether it's books or movies or anything that you enjoy, but that's one way to do it and you can donate to a very good cause. Thanks so much for watching this video today. If you like this video, click on like, and if this happens to be your first video on the channel, please consider subscribing, that would be awesome. I sincerely hope that everyone is safe and well, and I'll talk to you soon.